Hi Aries, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Aries, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Aries. So we have the judgment card and this is Scorpio energy. So this is a card of transformation, change, good news. This is an energy of clarity, um, possibly even a rebirth or a second chance. Let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. We have the six of cups in the reverse, water energy, the page of pentacles, earth energy, and the nine of cups, water energy. So with the judgment card, you could actually be making a decision here about something. Um, there could be something about the past that was very difficult for you to let go of. You were stuck on it and it's, there's this feeling of finally emancipating yourself, like you're freeing yourself because the Nine of Cups is an independent energy and it's like you're happy, like you are finally making that final decision. You're closing the door on something and you're choosing yourself because we're seeing self like contentment, emotional fulfillment and self-love with the Nine of Cups and embracing new beginnings elsewhere. So let's clarify these cards, uh, Aries. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Pentacles, and this is Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn Energy. So this is an energy of a long-term, stable commitment. Um, this is this could be what you were wanting from a situation, and it looks like you're having to let go of something from your past in order to, you know, pursue a path that leads you to this Ten of Pentacles. So let's see, we have the Six of Cups, Water Energy, the Death Card, Scorpio Energy, and the King of Swords, Air Energy. It's like you're going to revisit this one more time before finally kind of putting that, like closing that door once and for all with this King of Swords energy. Even with the Death Card, we're seeing an energy of letting go. You're becoming more strict, putting up boundaries with the past. Okay, so I'm going to pull out an Oracle card for you. Um... Aries. Okay, we have nothing is yet set in stone. Mutable moon. Then we have this could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek so it's like there's someone here from the past you could have thought that they were the one and there's this feeling of kind of having a different perspective something is shifting within you when it comes to how you view someone from the past it looks like it could be an ex something that was you know you have a lot of history with this person and you may have been very emotionally attached let's see Okay, we have yellow rose, enthusiasm and friendship. A single rose can be my garden, a single friend, my world. Okay, so I'm going to pull out a card for your advice, Aries. 
You could be making a decision as well here yeah, to stay friends with someone or to change a person's role in your life. Okay, we have surrender to setting limits. It is healthy to set boundaries in relationships. Practice expressing your needs and remember that no is a complete sentence. So it's like you're, you're putting up a, a guard, you're, you're putting up a boundary, you're putting boundaries with the past and with yourself. Uh, you could be cutting something or someone out or, you know, changing their role. So that's what I'm seeing for you, um, Aries. I hope you have a really, really good day, Aries. Bye, Aries.